one thing I saw happening uh, in in, um, in Europe, at least in the German-speaking com- countries, I was uh, um, I had my Google ad alerts or you know whatever word uh, alerts, and would be Feldenkrais, the genius relaxation method uh, by Dr. Moshe Feldenkrais, and I saw a lot of those kinds of articles, and it really disturbed me because uh, mm-hmm. you know, the, and whenever I would I'm. Last summer, I went to a parkour workshop in Switzerland when I was teaching there. It was an all-day kind of thing, and then I was riding back. The, I was riding the tram back with the instructor, and he said, "Oh, you do Feldenkrais? Isn't that where everything is just tiny, tiny, minimal, minimal movements?" And I hear that often. Or, or the worst one I've heard is, "You know, that's fitness for lazy people." And that you know, if you read the Feldenkrais's books, he's not talking about that. He's talking about being more potent actually and uh and i mean potent in the way of of being getting closer to your potential and also the idea of his his idea of posture you know being able to move in any direction at any time without a preparation Mm -hmm. that's not i mean that is relaxed yes but that's also ready ready. yeah yeah that's actually very alert yeah 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 and that is something that i find uh in the parkour world is where they could make part of this dialogue. Unfortunately, Paul not being here, we want to have a dialogue about how the two worlds could uh, learn from each other. But one of the things that I found is that in the parkour world, the idea of reversibility of, of freedom of your eyes and neck to be able to do something and, and, and keeping length is, is not as well developed as, as, um, as we have. It's not as well developed. No, I think they, the young people come about it naturally. I mean, they find solutions. And so if you look at someone who's, uh, uh, you know, uh, moves at a high level in that discipline, you'll see someone very well organized, obviously. Mm-hmm. But in trying, the, in trying to imitate those people, a lot of other people will strain, you know, effort themselves to jump farther or mm-hmm. to, you know, climb up that wall. And then they make the same mistakes that many athletes do, and that is using uh, force or willpower or uh, a kind of strength that is generated from that willpower that is not what was really intended by the, the, the founders of the parkour people. Mm-hmm. 